What's up everyone? Hope you all having a great day today. Over the years, women have been largely neglected in sports science studies. This was predominantly because researchers thought that hormonal cycles impacted study outcomes. This has been debunked by now. See for example the study that I put in the description below. So as more and more studies are being published that compare physiological outcomes between men and women, it's time to take a closer look at that topic. Today we will do it via a different kind of video format. Let us know in the comments what you think about it and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, let's go. Today we're going to dive into a hot topic that always stirs up a lot of chatter. Can women build as much muscle mass as men through resistance training? The quick answer is yes, but it's all about how you view it. Let's dive into the science. We'll start by checking out a study that examined the long-term effects of strength training in men and women. This study, led by Stephen Roth and his team and published in the Journal of American Geriatric Society, involved young and older men and women who were split into four groups. Each group had between six to ten people, and all of them underwent six months of monitored resistance training, working out all the key muscle groups. They had their thigh and quadriceps muscle volume measured with MRI before and after this fitness journey. The results? Men and women both responded similarly to the resistance training, no matter their age. And here's the kicker. Older women and young women actually packed on slightly more muscle mass compared to the men. The catch, however, is these results weren't statistically significant. That was a long-term study. Now let's shift gears and look at a more immediate, acute study. In this next study, supervised by Stu Phillips and led by Daniel West, we've got eight young, healthy men and women involved. They were all around 20 years old with an average body weight and BMI. Let's glance at how this study was set up. After they got used to the routine, the participants went through one round of intense, high-volume lower body exercise. This comprised five sets of 10 reps of leg press at 90% of their 10 rep max, and three sets of 12 reps of leg extension and leg curl supersets at 90% of their 12 rep max. Muscle biopsies were taken from their thigh muscle before and at various times after the exercise to assess the longer-term effects of resistance exercise. And throughout the study, subjects received a steady infusion of radio-labeled phenylalanine, which lets researchers gauge the rate at which phenylalanine is incorporated into the muscle, a telltale sign of new protein synthesis. The findings showed that testosterone levels only rose in the men after exercise. This makes sense since women have a lower capacity to produce testosterone than men. Nevertheless, acute changes in testosterone have often been cited as primary drivers of muscle mass. Is this true? Seems not, as acute myofibrillar fractional synthetic rate increased to a similar extent in men and women. With acute we mean in the first five hours after exercise. Same picture for longer term effects of myofibrillar fractional synthetic rate. There were no differences between men and women. So are there no differences between men and women at all? Well, not quite. This picture shows the amount of muscle mass in kilograms in men and women across various age groups. You can clearly see that on an absolute basis, women have substantially less muscle mass than men. So even though women can gain muscle at the same relative rate as men, men typically start with a higher muscle mass, meaning their absolute gains in kilograms will be much higher. This is summarized in a recent overview paper by Vicelli and Ewald. You can find a link to that paper in the description below. If you found this video helpful and entertaining, please share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your support as we aim to bring evidence-based fitness info to as many people as possible. Stay fit, stay healthy, and we'll catch you in the next video.